OK, Oliver, what's going on? Good morning. Yes, uh, all over the back pages, as you can imagine. Our man Ange Postacoglu. Uh, yeah, after that, I sounded, that sounded a bit EastEnders, actually, rather well, than Australian. Uh, 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 I know you can That was uh, Angie Oliver. Watts, <laughs> right, whatever her name was. <laughs> oh, my God, Den. Dirty yeah. Den and Ange. Yes. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? You so, can do so, an yeah. Australian accent properly, though. I can give it a go, mate. Yeah, there we I, go, that's I, better. I that's impressive. Yeah. Definitely. Um, we'll hear a bit more on that later, <laughs> I reckon. Um, but yeah, he's agreed to take over at Spurs. Uh, the Sun's gone with Ozzy Ardiles, uh, mm. which that's clever. Clever, that one. Uh, good. Daily Mail, Spurs, Land, Ange. Uh, we were talking in the office, actually, as well, Ali, because yes. you obviously lot, watch a lot of Scottish football. I think you played up there, didn't you? Is I watched it twice. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Um, <laughs> on a few nice pitches, apparently. <laughs> 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 but uh, that Celtic team that he was in charge of, because yeah. it's quite hard to relate it as a Premier League yeah. fan, you know. How, how good do you think they would have been in the, in the Premier League? This <clears throat> they would have survived. Mm. They would have survived. Um, I look at the teams that went down and they've had poor seasons. And they were, tell you what they are, and everybody keeps saying it, and they're right, you know, and it pains me to say it, they're a good watch. You know, they've got a lot of attack-minded players and their team in the attack. Um, good watch. If, if, if it, honestly, God, Ollie, if I just said, and Ollie, the producer, was asking me how well will he, and Woods were asking me how well will he do, it will depend on what he's allowed to do, I think. Depending on what he's allowed to do, who he's allowed to bring in, what he's allowed to spend. Well, there's a story in the back of, of the mirror as well saying that he will be given a few funds and allowed to do a bit of a shake-up, yep. uh, linked with James Madison as well. But in that Spurs team, where do you think the most important areas are? That do you know some defensively? If he is allowed to, he can yeah, shake up. Yeah, defensively and, and the James Madison. I, I honestly, God, I don't believe that they've replaced Ericsson in that kind of number 10 role, that one that will make the, the telling pass, the killer pass. And I think Madison would be absolutely brilliant at it. You know, I think you've got a big decision, or Harry Kane's got a big decision. I mean, if you can keep Harry Kane and get him more ammunition with somebody like Madison and tighten up a back four goalkeeper as well, then you'll, you'll do all right. Um, you've offered to drive him down, haven't you? That's from correct, South- yes. Yeah, yeah. I've just, have you cleaned your car yet? Um, no. Is the Fiat Panda no, clean? And it, no. It's full of <laughs> mess for the boys' football boots at the weekend, stuff like that. But Angie is an Australian, and I think he'll accept that. You know, these guys yeah. accept things like that. Yeah, it's not as if he's some West Coast American that's going to scoff and not get in the vehicle. You know, he's going to look big, Angie. What's, look what what's the snacks have you football. got for the drive down? Um, you got, you know, crisps, jerky and stuff. Crisps, yeah. crisps and... Uh, he want a barbecue. Oh. Well, he's surely. in the right place. <laughs> You're a Weathers original, I know it. Yeah. You've definitely got Weathers, Weathers original, original in, yeah. in the door. No, I've the, do, you know, do you know what I love? A chocolate toffee. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so three hands to a chocolate toffee and they drive down. <laughs> but don't they sometimes, especially if it's going to be hot, don't they get a little Melt. bit melty? By the way, they did in my car yesterday. <laughs> See, I know everything. But do you know something? Because I forgot to put them in the wee side bit of the car. If you put them in the wee side bit of the car, you get away with it. But I put them in the middle and the sun was getting in through the thing. Do they have individual packing or is it all like... Individual packing. Oh, fine. So they Which don't is a massive thing. Roll into each no, other. No, they're an ultimate disaster. You don't just end up with one giant. big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, quite, I quite like that, then. That'd be great, Ollie. Like, Mun- <laughs> munching this biggest ever chocolate toffee. <laughs> <laughs> People up and down the country saying, yes, it could well fit in that mouth as well. And <clears> have <throat> some of this. <laughs> Take a bite. I, I'm cutting a bit off my teeth and off on them. But go. he would accept it because he's Australian. He'd love it, he'd love it. Um, another story <clears> on the back of the, uh, the sun and the mirror today is about new... Newcastle, now their owners potentially picking up some of the biggest stars going to Saudi. They've taken over majority states in in the Saudi clubs. So Al Nasser, where Ronaldo is, Al yeah. Itahad as well, uh, two of the clubs. Uh, Benzema might be off there. He's obviously left Real Madrid. So there's actually no laws now stopping Newcastle from taking some of those players on loan. Messi might be on the way as well. Ali, do you actually think that if they can, Newcastle should do that? They should bring in Ronaldo... Messi, Benzema. I don't think a. I don't think they will, <clears throat> and I don't. And b. I don't think it's a good idea. And the reason, my main reason for that is all these guys effectively are, I wouldn't say running down their careers, but they're at that stage of their career. Whereas I think Newcastle, as a club, are at the stage where they're building mm. rather than doing anything else. And I don't think, plus the fact. 
it would make everybody hate them. <laughs> it yeah. would. It's it? always. I'm actually. I'm a Newcastle fan. Um, you can probably. Oh tell no! Me. So your eyes yeah. have. You think that's a great. I idea think it'd be amazing. But no, it's always. I always find it really funny with our fans as well because we get linked with these huge names now since the takeover. But I can remember when we were 19th <laughs> and it was like Neymar in the papers and stuff. Yeah. And some of the fans were going, "I don't know. I'd, I think he he messed up our setup. Do you know what I mean? Like, I reckon Jake Murphy offers a lot more down the race. And you're just like, lads, come on, it's Neymar, but, man. But, but I, I think you're right. I think it would set, it would mess things up, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Do you know what I'm with, Ollie? I think Newcastle have now got themselves in a position where they could get or potentially go for the Benjamins and the Ronaldos 10, 15 years ago. Which is, what, it's which is where they want to be. They don't want to be going to get them now. They want to be going to get them with their opportunity yeah. to... Well, yeah, look at Isak, <clears> I yeah. guess. You know, yeah, that's I can't a great believe example. that there's no rules against it. Yeah. Because I just... I can't understand how you can... Like, how lawful that is, where you go, right, yeah. we're going to buy all these up and then we're going to financial fair play aside because I'm going to take them to this country and then I'm going to loan them out to you like surely that I know you think there's something not right about it yeah there is mm. something not right about it yeah it's, it's, it's got a, to bit, be a bit bit dodgy isn't it loophole like I don't I don't know I don't think that's great <laughs> talk sport breakfast with Laura Woods Monday to Wednesday morning 6 till 10 on AM on DAB via the talk sport app and on your smart speaker talk sport